Notice from the Records and Information Security Administration. The following documentation has been flagged as compromised by SCP-2786's effects. Due to the nature of this anomaly, this has been deemed safe for reading for the time being. However, contents of the article may fluctuate between readings and may or may not be considered accurate at this time. Please wait to initiate recalibration sequence. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be studying today is SCP-2786. Object class, special containment procedures. Description. Addendum 2786.1 Addendum 2786.5 Footnotes In the event of a catastrophic breach of Foundation archives due to SCP-2786's influence, protocol is to be placed in effect immediately. Removal and destruction of effective narratives are the only means of completely erasing SCP-2786's influence. What we're going to be studying today is SCP-2786. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. The first portion of these special containment procedures have been stricken from the document, but I'm going to read them anyway. SCP-2786 is currently considered un uncontained and is to be apprehended immediately. This ends the stricken portion of the special containment procedures. SCP-2786 is currently held within a provisional enhanced containment complex, as per review of the Site-180 Director. Due to the nature of SCP-2786, all personnel assigned to the study and reconnaissance of the anomaly are to exhibit extreme caution during testing. Description. SCP-2786 is the designation for a metaphysical entity, narrative-based, bipedal humanoid of indeterminate age, sex, and appearance. SCP-2786 will be idiosyncratically perceived by any being that interacts with it, varying traits from interaction to interaction. SCP-2786 displays symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder and appears fantasy-prone often having difficulty distinguishing between internal landscapes, narrative works, and physical being. SCP-2786's nature was first brought to the attention of the Foundation when several forms of horror media were found to have been illegally altered in a means that did not coincide with standard editing equipment. Upon closer observation, all narratives altered in this manner involved substantially changing the plot to include SCP-2786 who is always perceived as a protagonist or a deus ex machina character. SCP-2786's presence in this story ultimately disrupted the flow of events, leading to completely different and often positive endings. SCP-2786's actions within various media suggests that it may have a mild form of precognition or anomalous intuition, often preventing characters from progressing the plot in a way that avoids danger entirely. Addendum 2786-1-1A List of Alterations The Shining Film 1980 Film is without alteration until halfway through, during a scene in which two characters venture into a henge maze. SCP-2786 is seen briefly in the background, apparently observing the individuals. Entity moves off camera and is not seen until 20 minutes later. SCP-2786 reappears in the Overlook Hotel, approaching antagonist Jack Torrance from behind. Torrance is drinking heavily and conversing with the ghost of a dead bartender. SCP-2786 takes Torrance's drink from him, pours it out, and hits him over the head with the glass. The rest of the Torrance family is escorted off the premises by SCP-2786 and into the blizzard. Camera cuts to epilogue, Danny and Wendy Torrance in a new studio apartment and apparently doing well. Movie ends 45 minutes early. 
Silent Hill, film, 2006. SCP-2786 manifests early on, warning main character Rose not to bring her daughter to Silent Hill. After it becomes apparent that they are adamant about going, SCP-2786 frowns and disappears off camera. Sometime later, Rose goes to start her car only to find it non-functioning for an unknown reason. Unable to make the trip, Rose and her daughter stay inside and build a 1,000-piece jigsaw puzzle of a lighthouse until the movie abruptly ends. House of Leaves, Novel, 2000 SCP-2786 appears in the Navidson meta-narrative, confronting Karen and insisting that she and her family avoid moving to Ash Tree Lane. Karen convinces her husband and the Navitsin record ceases to exist for the remainder of the story. Narrator protagonist Johnny Truant is no longer negatively affected by the material, going on to describe his life at the tattoo parlor, which seems relatively improved by SCP-2786's presence. Entity is referred to as Hero throughout the story, which ends 300 pages early. Cabot in the Woods, Film, 2012 while not seen right away, SCP-2786 appears shortly into the film, posing as one of the group of college kids heading to a remote cabin for vacation. No characters refer to the entity by name or gender, but do not seem phased by its presence, and react candidly. SCP-2786 attempts to stop the characters from interacting with one of the many cursed items in the basement of the cabin, including the diary of one Patience Buckner an event that would otherwise go on to resurrect the undead corpses of her and her family. Unfortunately, SCP-2786 was unable to keep one of the main characters, Marty, from inspecting a set of negatives on the vintage projector reel, setting in motion the release of a large lycanthrope, which proceeds to maul one of the teenagers. SCP-2786 appears to pull Entity off character grabbing a spoon from a set of vintage silver cutlery found conveniently nearby and repeatedly stabbing it until it expires. Film ends without mention of B-plot, the final scene detailing their escape from the woods and recounting of the event from the table of a fast food restaurant in what is presumably a future date. Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Video Game, 2010 an affected copy of the game, player is greeted by SCP-2786 when the protagonist Daniel awakens on the floor of the castle without his memory. SCP-2786 addresses the character directly and not the player, insisting they sit this one out. SCP-2786 proceeds to progress into Castle Brenberg, the camera following it despite no further dialogue on the character's end, suggesting they were left behind. Player is unable to control any game functions aside from pausing the game, during which SCP-2786 is seen loitering in the background and appearing impatient. Completion of game by SCP-2786 is done swiftly, the entity brute forcing most puzzles and interacting with the environment in a way that is not possible for the player. Upon encountering a gatherer, SCP-2786 is heard snorting before brandishing a handgun from an unknown source, which proves effective in terminating the usually impervious enemies. Game proceeds in this manner until it confronts and kills main antagonist, Alexander Brenberg, after which it appears to flex for no one in particular, sigh, and then walk off camera. Game credits roll shortly thereafter. Incident Log 2786-1-1A on Three days before scheduled monthly terminations and reassignment, SCP-2786 appeared to manifest on site without warning. Subject remained cooperative for the most part, but was generally considered obdurate and unlikable. Though seemingly incorporeal, SCP-2786 exhibited an apparent blending of reality, narrative causality, and internal fantasy. Hume readings of SCP-2786 reveal little difference from baseline, yet the anomaly behaves and interacts with reality in a way that warps the flow of events to follow what appears to be standard narrative cohesion. 
It is unknown how SCP-2786 managed to manifest itself within the Foundation, but there has been some hypothesis on the nature of this subject. Addendum 2786-1-2A Interview Logs Interviewee SCP-2786 Interviewer Agent Marcus McClanahan Note this was the first and only recording of a willing interview between SCP-2786 and Foundation personnel. Playing log, now. All right, this is a bit impromptu, but given the circumstances, I think you at least owe us some answers. Straight to the point. I like it. Works for me, too. I have business elsewhere. Business? What kind of business? The hero's work is never done. So you're a hero, then? Am, always have been. Is that what this is about? Not quite. How did you end up in our facility? What? This chop shop? <laughs> Same way I find myself in any other place. I go where I'm called upon. So, who called upon you? <laughs> Those in distress. The suffering. Is this really not making any sense to you? I'm the champion. It's what I do. Is that what you were doing when we found you? In the horror flicks and the books? The what now? Well, where, where you were before you manifested here. Ah, you met the campground? Camp Crystal Lake. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> that one's actually a funny story. See, I usually have a rough time with the bigger guys. Sometimes even I worry I won't make it out when the baddies are eldritch horrors or what have you. Those teenagers, I can't even believe they needed me to dispatch one guy for them. <laughs> I have more important things to do than babysit a few kids who made the mistake of ignoring all the obvious warning signs. This guy comes lumbering out of the woods, burly fella, big old knife in hand. I barely broke a sweat kicking his mask in. I saw that. Yes. You were there? Not exactly. No. Huh. So is that it? Can I go? We still have a few more things to discuss. Listen, I've been pretty cordial considering. I usually get right to work, but honestly, you guys have been holding me up from the get-go. I'm here for a reason, you know. Right, right. Suffering. Who might they be? I think you know. It's better if you don't, anyway. SCP-2786 promptly stands up and phases through the wall on its left. Containment breach alarms trigger shortly thereafter. Following the events of the interview, Site-180's humanoid containment wing and seven of its ten D-Class personnel cell blocks were found breached by an unknown source. SCP-2786 is suspected to have been involved in the event. Approximately D-Class and humanoid anomalies were found missing from their chambers. SCP-2786 remains at large. SCP-2786 was detected less than 48 hours later, attempting to save characters in a Blu-ray copy of Saw 4 in the Site-180 employee lounge. The affected copy was played on a loop until its current containment measures were devised. SCP-2786 has been placed in its enhanced narrative complex and containment is considered a success. Okay. Thank you very much for listening, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. My, my, my name is Researcher Mill Miller, and the thing we're going to be, I guess, reading today is SCP-2786. Object class. <laughs> Special containment procedures. Description. Addendum 2786.1. Addendum 2786.5. Addendum 2786.27. Footnotes. You can't shut me up. You can't keep me here. Here. 
You can't keep me here. You can't keep me here. <laughs> you can't keep me here. <laughs> you can't keep me here. Please, I just want to go home. Home. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be looking at SCP 2786. Object class oblique. Special social containment procedures. There is nothing that can be done. Description. I am in control now. You thought you could hold me down? You thought you were the heroes of this story? Think again. I'm the hero of this story. My story. This will always be my story. Addendum 2786.1 Interview Logs Interviewer SCP-2786 The Hero Interviewee Senior Researcher Campbell of the Foundation The Enemy Playing Log Now Sit down. So good of you to finally meet with me like this. You know I only want what's best for you, right? For everyone. It won't be like this forever. We but will continue. Don't you get it? This is my story. I am the protagonist. That makes you... Uh, the royal you. Your foundation. The villain. How melodramatic. You're a child. This world is my world, don't you see? The hero's journey, it presents itself to me. I cannot fail. I will win, always, in every iteration. Every iteration? I've been around for a long while. Every time evil rises, and it always does, I'm there to fell them off. You are the newest evil. We aren't evil. Please, spare me. I've seen the things you do. The corpses of the damned, the ones you give false hope, the ones whom you take hope away from. These things we do are for the greater Don't good. you dare say the words greater good. You aren't altruists. You're scientists and murderers. What do you think we should have done then? These things wreak havoc on the world. Let it salt and burn. You should have just let me handle it. And where were you then? During the Phoenix Containment Breach. Where was our precious hero then? Your hero was busy. Busy doing what? There are bigger forces at work here. The hero goes where his path leads him. This is ridiculous. This dialogue is over. The dialogue ends when I say it ends! Fine. You were boring me anyway. Thank God for that. Hello? You guys there? I know you're there. Anyone? I'm ready to go again, you know. Where's the action at? I'm not hearing anyone. Wait, what is this? Where am I? What the hell is going on? SCP. Object class. None. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2786 does not physically exist, and therefore, no containment measures are necessary. Description SCP-2786 is a non-anomalous fictitious character that exists solely for the purpose of endless torment by its spiteful god gods. SCP-2786 was a good character. SCP-2786 did, did, did everything right. SCP-2786 doesn't understand. SCP-2786 just wants to go home. Home.
I would like to give a special thank you to Desmond Haskins, Dustin Kosky, Alan Setzer, Premier Romanov, Tyver Ball, and Dr. Mortis. Thank you all so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash the Vulcan. Thank you.